So guys, I wish to turn now. I have hanged my jacket here because the jackets are so big here. Because since it, it gets very cold in the winter, like minus. So we have to hang our jackets here in the corner so it's not disturbing. Yes, and since I did not eat anything from morning, you know why? Because I need to keep some space for now the food. What I call it now, na. I have to take an opportunity to take a look at the food. I have to take a grab at the food. I have to take a look at the food. I have to take a look at the food. It's not nice. Na. Na. I bought this one. Na. So, ayo, the smell is like so good, guys. I'm not kidding. See, it's got croissant. This is my favorite. See, 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 see. look at this, guys. Look at this, guys. Yeah, so, I will eat this and travel. With me, I have water. So guys, in Germany, the good thing is like, whenever you buy a bottle, make sure that you buy something that is, you know, like this, this sign. You know why? Because with this, you will get 25 cents for each bottle. Some bottles, they don't have something like this, okay? So you will get money. So whenever I'm buying a bottle, I'm always making sure that something like this is there. Of course, they, you know, <clears throat> take 25 cents more, but then you get it back. But it's a very nice way of recycling the bottles. It's very good for the environment, right? I will make another video on how to recycle bottles. I will take you to the supermarket and then yeah, I will show you guys. It's very silent, guys. In India, in the train, we're like talking and everything and traveling. But here, Germans, they're really silent. And in train also, these people are like, they don't just waste their time like this. You will see some people reading books and some people are, you know, working on their laptop. Yesterday I traveled and then I saw um, one German. Um, she seems to be a university student. She was just typing her thesis. So see, for them, every minute is precious. This is something which I really like about them because in India, we are like, I mean, in India, of course, we respect people's time, but we don't value time 100% like Germans, in my opinion, in my personal opinion. Mm. Guys, I'm very lucky because it's not in all trains that you get a place to charge your phone. Yeah, so I have got something to charge my phone. Wow, this is amazing. Let me just check if... Oh yeah, my phone is 94%. Because today we are going to make a mukbang video. Mm. It's important for me to have my phone, you know, charged nicely. Because I'm going to eat Naga food now. My friend updated me that she's cooking this, that, and all this thing. But I won't tell you guys now. Because I will show you guys later, okay? Mm. Sometimes when I eat bread, I like to drink water or juice or anything because over like get stuck you know <clears throat> germans they eat bread every day their life is hell without bread <laughs> i have a german friend who is planning to visit Nagaland, <laughs> and i asked him how are you going to survive without bread then he didn't say anything he was just like this for some time <laughs> and then he said Good frag, <laughs> which means good question. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So there are different types of croissant. This is a simple croissant because it's not that expensive. One euro eighty five cents. Yeah. See guys, this brand. It's not that, that expensive. This brand, yeah, it's affordable. I mean, normally all German bakeries are affordable. <laughs> yeah, they have different different varieties, like I've explained in my previous videos. Or did I? Oh no, I shot that video, but I haven't posted. I guess some croissants. When you just check inside now, guys. Yeah, they will have um, cheese or some chocolates filled inside. Those are really tasty, but it's also expensive. <laughs> but today, intentionally, I'm eating simple one because I have to save some space in my stomach like I said you know so that's why and see 
it, what I like about croissant is like, see, it's it's very soft inside. Also, it's like it's made with butter, I think. See, see the texture. Very soft. I really like it. A friend of mine, um, he introduced me to croissant before when I was new in Germany. Basically, he used to work in one restaurant and he told me that he get food for free. And he did tell me that they provide croissant there. So he told me he would bring croissant for me from the restaurant, but he never did. I think he forgot. And he told me that it's very nice. And I was like, okay. But I never remember to buy also because I always cook food, rice every day. But now, after living for more than four years, I realized that <coughs> it's not easy to cook every day. So sometimes I will cook like for two, three days and then I will keep it in the fridge and then I eat that. So cooking every day, it's like I want to eat warm every day, but it is also not possible because in Germany you have to really manage your schedules because here everything is like mm, very strict. Even to meet the doctor, you cannot just meet like that. You need to take a termin appointment. And then if you miss your appointment, then it can also happen. If you are not lucky, then you have to wait for a little bit longer. And especially for eye doctors, it's like super difficult to get an appointment. Talking from my personal experience, I think I need to wait for more than one year. And I was lucky that my German flatmate, Erik, the guy who said our Germans wrote that video, he told me that I need to take the training early because it's very difficult to get and especially that time I don't speak German right so he especially talk on, on my behalf yeah and that's how I got the training appointment so yeah it was he was very kind and then yeah so it's actually like during the corona time I did a lot of online classes guys so if I'm doing a lot of online classes then it's also not good for my eyes right so my power was three point something but then it just went up to five point something like after doing a lot of online classes I noticed that my eyes that I couldn't see properly that much you know so I have always been telling him every day oh I can't see properly so that made him worried and then this German guy got so worried that he ended up telling me that hey let me talk to them for you and then he talked to me and yeah the train is moving now so I need to change another train after this it will take me around three and a half hours to reach her place and I'm really looking forward so I will see you guys bye